you want to live by walking with God? Don't be fooled by the cheap, the tre- the cheap fix. You know, the idea of like, well, if I do good things, good things will happen to me. If I do bad things, bad. Don't be fooled by that, he says. God will not be mocked. You see, God's actually in control. And there's a blessing in this consequence when he talks about this. And he says, so let us not grow weary in doing what is right. For we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. He's saying, take courage. So then, whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all, and especially those of the family of God. You know, God's coming. He is the judge. But part of that judgment is not just to get people in trouble. Part of judgment is to vindicate us. We need that. It's those things that are terribly wrong that you think just, I mean, nobody's going to catch people who did terrible things. They get away with it. The truth is, is that God's on the throne. God sees it all. God has a way. But it's also a way for us to be restored. You see, faith and hope in Christ, you know, it's, we put our faith and hope in Jesus and not in the flesh. It's not about just our bank account. It's not just about our toilet paper supply. It's not about the stuff we can just see and get, like, it's about us walking with Jesus and knowing that God will provide for us. We are able to be generous because God is generous to us so much. You know, I can't wait for the day. I think of this phrase a lot, at the restoration of all things. Can you imagine what that could be like? When Jesus returns, I can't wait for it. Look, I'm happy here. I'm having a good time on planet Earth. I got a lot of stuff I still want to do. But at the end of it all, when everything is made new and made perfect and the good king comes back, there is nothing better. There is no more beautiful picture in all of Scripture. You see, the Lord's Prayer is a really big one because it encapsulates this better way to live. And we're going to listen to that momentarily here because I want you to think about that. I want to leave you with that today, that there is this better way to live, that we live following the Father We live by grace, we forgive our enemies, and we're gracious to those who need help. We take care of each other, we carry each other's burdens, because we know that there is a good God, and he's on the throne. 